Hello and welcome, this is Moose2006, and we are back once again on our farm. I'm gonna get it started, uh, get our, what are we playing, barley going. We can probably get this field uh, planted today. That's, that should be a good goal, I think. And then I had a lot of comments uh, flooding in that suggested that maybe and um, I just need to actually set these logs into that rectangle at the lumberyard. That driving over it, this sits a little too high off the ground for it to register, uh, like it does, like it did with my other tree, and like it does with the uh, like the wool pallets, and you can just kind of drive over it, and it takes it. So I had a lot of suggestions that said, you know, actually pick it up out of the trailer and put it in and then it should um, register and sell it. So I think what I'm going to try, I think we are going to go down to the lumber yard and find a patch of trees down there because I also had some people say that there's some trees there. I had one person say that maybe doing like every other uh, poplar tree right here, like these right here in front of me. Maybe doing every other one would still look nice, and the poplars are a lot easier to manage than the ones, uh, the birches or whatever I was cutting down before. And that's a pretty good suggestion, because I really do like the tree line, you know, the tree lined road, but I also really like um, easier forestry. So I think it's difficult enough, but we will get down to our lumber yard and find a nice little spot to start uh, deforesting and then we can get our log fork and our front loader and drive it over as well and work on that while our sower and cultivator are planting. So we're almost there. Here's some pines that are pretty easy to, to do. Um, they're lining the road, but I don't I don't mind that much to cut these down. There's some in that fence, which probably wouldn't be good, because I don't think we can get inside that fence. Here's a couple, or, couple tall poplars that I don't mind cutting down. And there is our lumber yard. So let's maybe start working on these pine trees right here. I th yeah, let's do that. So we'll cut down these. Well, uh, yeah, we'll get these pine trees. So let's see. This is going well. We do need to fertilize this as well, but we can we can just do that when he's done planting. Let's find this. We'll leave those for now. I'll probably just wood chip them when I can afford it. And we will... Ah, uh, stupid tree branch. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's get this down and out of the way. I'll get my lights on. Because I have noticed that the... When it's dark, it doesn't look that dark on my screen when I'm playing. But then as soon as I uh, render it for some reason, the video is... I don't know, it just seems a lot darker. So I'll make sure to keep my lights on um, so that you guys can actually see what's going on. So let me drive over to our lumber yard and we'll begin a little more, or we'll continue I guess, a little more forestry. Alright, um, sorry about any cutting that just happened. Uh, fraps just sort of crashed on me, which doesn't happen often or ever, so uh, I think you may have missed about 10 feet of driving, if that. So um, yeah, I'll just hope that doesn't happen again, and we'll continue. So we'll start here at the end and get our chainsaw out and start cutting. Should be good. Flashlight chainsaw will cut this way. This will be a lot easier to work with than the previous ones. One, because we don't have all these bushes and all this other stuff getting in our way. 
and two is this is not uh, well this is a pine tree so it's there's not all those huge limbs to cut um, yeah what's that one I cut down earlier I, I want to figure that out it's a I assume a birch maybe a maple maybe an oak yeah I guess I won't figure it out all right commenters go what tree did I cut down last time um, let's okay this is not there we go get these branches out of the way because it'll sell for more and be a lot easier to work with now, what are all these doing here okay I can actually afford the stump grinder I might invest in that this time and I think it's only about five thousand dollars which is fine okay I can probably get that whole tree in this trailer and we can probably just pick it up from there let's give it a shot okay turn around pick it up kind of in the middle but we need the large part we'll open the fork down close looks good open or not open up cut this little this little guy off all right things are going much s smoother this time we just made about forty eight hundred dollars on forty eight hundred I think four thousand some on cows just showed up we'll lay this down nice and gently or can we just drive it over there wouldn't that make more sense cut out the middleman we can probably just drive in no maybe <gasps> yeah that was much easier another advantage of doing it near the lumber yard all right so we didn't really need that trailer but I can actually pick this one up now probably I want to get that branch off there there we go lights on hopefully I can there we go all right so that one we sold last time was like 15,000 wasn't it that also had all the limb or most of the limbs I cut these off probably shouldn't have live and you learn come on 11,000 I will accept that Oh boy, things are happening today. Um, we could save that for wood chipping, but of course I'm not going to, because that's probably quite a ways down the road, because that's an expensive piece of equipment. And there we go. So we'll just sell it. Let's see how much a little tiny limb gets. Okay, we're just going to leave it right there and not worry about it. Wait, uh, why didn't... okay. How long did it take me to figure that out? 190 hours? Of the, well, okay, I guess in this game maybe 100 and some hours. Yeah, if I crouch... Brilliant. I can get lower. Who would have thunk? Who would have thought that was a thing? Um, probably everyone besides me that's okay I, I learned I figured it out let's get these branches off and we'll get slightly more money since we have a slightly larger tree I do want to say um, on that note not only do I appreciate the um, amount of comments I'm getting and the amount of tips and help that you are all providing I also appreciate the uh, well how nice you go about it I know some comments can get fairly nasty on YouTube sometimes but so far um, I've I've had a very good time reading um, every comment I've gotten I think have been has been very nice very helpful so thank you for that uh, it's, it's it's made this series a lot of fun to do having that feedback and the and the tips uh, cause yeah I've, I've put 
well over 200 hours between this and 2013, and there's still just tons of things that come up that um, I never thought of or never really tried or never known. Um, let's get this in here. All right, making the money. I I don't think this is cheating. I think if I would plant my own tree and sell it, I would call that like exploits. That's not how I want to play. But I think just um, doing forestry near the lumber yards fine because eventually they're going to be gone because I'm going to cut them all down. And I guess I can replant them the legal way, but um, yeah, I, th I I think my conscience is clear for this. Okay, we're almost done here. Just a couple more. Uh, strips to go. So let's keep on the forestry front. We'll back this up. Get our flashlight on. Get our chance out. Duck! And... Here we go. Did not realize. <clears throat> you know, I always heard people say that forestry can get you some pretty... pretty quick money. And I guess I believed it, but since it was such a pain in the tail, you know, I just never really tried. But it really does. I mean... Alright, this is fun. Just a rolling... Yeah, once you kind of get the hang of it, it, it is a lot more fun. I also... Um, I st when I first tried forestry, I'd use this guy here. This $54,000 trailer slash crane. And I will say, I think it made it a lot worse, because, um, let's get these out of the way. Because it was just sort of a pain to work with, whereas this log fork isn't terrible. I mean, it's, it's it works pretty well. But that crane trailer thing, first of all, the trailer was really small. And, I, you know, hauling around a tree this size was almost impossible, so you had to cut it down which cut into your profits which made it a little less worth it so I would recommend or at least I wish I would have started forestry like this with the logging fork and the big flegal trailer with the dolly over there because even if I was doing this on another part of the farm not near the lumber yard I think it would still not be too bad with this large trailer because you can fit like entire trees in there so we have our pines down, which kind of frees things up to bring stuff to the lumberyard. I should invest in the stump grinder and start cutting these stumps, which is probably what I'll do. I can actually afford the wood chipper, so I've made a lot of money. But there's probably other things we need besides that first. Um, I have a com I had a commenter say if I use this, I can actually attach this to the harvester. As long as it's not like the case. Um, which might be a worthy investment, but it's also a lot of money, so that might be later on. I'll have to figure it out because we have. Um, let me just repay everything so I don't so I can see. So we have about $85,000 to work with. And the wood chipper is... Oh, I need this. 88. Oh, that's a lot more expensive than I thought. Okay. We probably won't get to that anytime soon. What I am going to borrow and buy our tree stump removal thing. Great. Now, I should probably check on our planter. One more strip. So, we're going to come back here with our stump removal. I can probably get this trailer unhooked. We'll probably keep doing trees around here. So I'm not sure. Because there's some pines there. Oh, here. What's this place? We got some pines. Got a large one of these. Whatever that is. Some of those. 
using all the technical terms today, some of those trees, and a, and a pine again. I know pines and poplars. Okay, well, we might come back with the trailer, um, but let's go get our stump removal. I should probably set... Ah, that's so far away. Um, I was going to maybe set this mower back at the cows, but that's too far away, so uh, it'll just kind of sit in our shop. So I will drive over and get our stump remover thing. Alright, we got this now. I'll probably... I know there's a stump at the farm. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So I will drive back over to the cows, but I was thinking um, on the way to the stump, to the shop, that uh, I could probably use the money that we made to invest in our back mower, that $50,000 uh, six foot mower that sits on the back and then a windrower, and then we could really start, well, I don't know if I don't want to start doing silage with it, but feeding the cows and the sheep with the grass would be a heck of a lot faster. Um, but then I guess my other thought is that we probably don't need to do that for a while, so it might be worth investing in other things. So I probably won't use the money now, so if you... Um, if you guys have, you guys and gals, have any uh, suggestions for what to do with the 80-ish thousand dollars we have, throw them out there, because I do read the comments. I don't always respond, um, but I definitely read them all and appreciate it. Um, I, I guess I could respond to one right now. Uh, I had one person ask why I don't just stream and then upload like the stream to YouTube. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. One is that the stream is sort of a different uh, environment for playing. I think it's a lot more... I don't want to say lax, because it's not like this is that intense. But I don't know, it's more like chill. Um, I usually throw on some sort of like 90s pop music and, and just sort of like hang out for a couple hours. And then the other thing is with that is that because I listen to music... Why is this having such a rough time? Come on. Well... This stump may be there forever. Because I listen to music, I can't legally put it on YouTube. Come on, what is going on? Maybe if I get a different angle at it. Yeah, so you can stream music via Twitch because it's uh, it's a stream. It has something to do with some like radio broadcast act or something. Um, but then, of course, you can't put that on YouTube because those are... Uh, like created video content. And so the legality of that isn't possible. I would have to do a two or three hour stream in complete silence, which I can't fathom doing. Um, and then the other thing is that, and the biggest reason is that I just don't have time to stream that often. Um, I've only streamed like twice in the last week and a half um, because of my schedule. I just, I don't have those time span, that amount of time span open. So. I do stream once in a while, but it's nothing formal, and it uh, I, I, you'll definitely get a lot more content this way. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely keep streaming once in a while. Um, this is my last week of the of my like graduate summer session of graduate classes. So after this week, I'll have a little bit more time to do so. Um, but of course, right now it's pretty hectic, so. Okay, uh, let's fold this up, get our fertilizer, which is way over there. I can probably set this right here in the middle. I also need to invest in the car wash, because it, it kind of drives me crazy to have such dirty vehicles. Um, but again, I'm not going to spend any more money until I, you know, if you have any say in the comments, I'll definitely listen to them. Because you, you all usually have way better ideas than I do. So I will listen. Let's get this on the back, if I can back up correctly, which I can. There we go. Proved it. 
and it, uh, I should probably fill it up. Well, we'll see. A lot of our field is already fertilized because of the withering, so that's that's a that's a bonus. The advantage of letting your crops wither, you don't have to refertilize that spot. Alright, so I will spend a few minutes and get this fertilized. Alright, um, I know there's like a little bit of the field that's not fertilized. I missed a tiny strip up there and the, uh, the back, the far corner over there probably didn't get hit. But I'm okay with that. Um, I've never tested how much this affects yield. It's probably a bit, but I don't mind leaving a few patches dry. So I'm going to fill this up so that next time we need to fertilize, it's ready. Next time, um, I will see what we need to purchase with our money, if anything. We might just save it and do some more forestry. Um, and we'll, of course, wait for that to grow and start harvesting our barley and working on our barley mission. So, all right, another good day, um, I, I think, I hope. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a very nice day.